In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create a simple Excel file in ASP.NET MVC application. We are going to use Visual Studio 2017. Open Visual Studio. Create a new project. Select web tab and select ASP.NET web application. Name the project as getting started. Select MVC tab. Once created, we need to add XLSEO dependencies to the project. To do so, right click the project. Manage Nougat Packages. You can browse for syncfusion.xlsiv from package source nougat.org and install syncfusion.xlsiv.asp.net mvc file after going through the terms and condition and license agreement from this link and then install. On installing this package, we'll include syncfusion.compression.biz, syncfusion.licensing and syncfusion.xlsiv as a list to the project. Now syncfusion.xlsiv.biz, syncfusion.licensing, syncfusion.compression.biz as a list gets installed to the project. Now let's create Excel file. Open Home Controller. Go to View Page. Here we can remove default div blocks and add the code for adding a button to this page in the name Create Document. Now we are going to add a code within this button action for Excel creation. Now go to Home Controller and add an action result in the name Create Document. Now we are going to add a code for Excel creation within this action. Before we need to add XLSIO namespace to the project as using syncfusion.xlsio. Now we initialize Excel engine which gives access to the uh, XLSIO application. Let's initialize the application and set the workbook version as 2016 using the default version property of application. Uh, we can set the workbook version from uh, Excel 90 from 2003 to Excel 2016. We have set Excel 2016. Now we are going to create workbook with one worksheet and access the first two worksheet of the created workbook and assign it to worksheet object. By default, when workbook is created without giving this parameter as one, it creates a workbook with three worksheet. Now we are creating it with one worksheet. Now we are going to save the workbook in the name output.xlsx. This will create empty workbook. Now let's run the application. Oh, now click create document. This will download the empty Excel file which we have created just now with an additional tab called evaluation warning with an error message 
created with trial version of Syncfusion Essential Excel SIO. You can avoid this error uh, by using a, a licensed version of Assemblies. To know more details on our licensing, please contact our sales team. and go through the details from this link now we are going to add a code here to create an excel file which is similar to that of our reference file like this in invoice format uh, with pictures, uh, text and cell formatting hyperlink formulas etc now let's Add picture in uh, cell A1 as in this invoice template. This will add picture in uh, row 1 and column 1 that is cell A1. So as you see uh, the grid lines in this worksheet is invisible. We are going to uh, do the same in code. We have set this grid line visible property of worksheet to false uh, to make the grid lines invisible in the worksheet. Now the next we are going to enter text to cells A3 to A5 and format them as bold. We have entered uh, values to the cells using text property for cells A3 to A5 and made the text as bold. Next we are going to uh, enter values to cells D1 to E8. Cells D1 and D1 is merged. So we are going to apply merge. For, uh, formatting is applied to cells. Font setting is applied. Alignment is applied. So we are going to Add this formatting to this invoice details section. We have merged cells uh, D1 and D1. Uh, set invoice as text to cell D1. Uh, applied font settings. Here we have an error. Uh, we can resolve it. By adding a namespace using system.drawing to the project which is added here. Added uh, alignment to cell D1. Now we entered text to cell uh, D5 and D5. Uh, number to cell D6. Value to cell D6. Uh, text to cells D7 and D7. Number to cell D8. And text to cell D8. Applied cell color to these cells in invoice section. Applied font color to the cells and made the text as bold. Applied alignment to these cells. Next we are going to add values to uh, this build to section. And uh, here we find uh, formatting is applied to cell A7. And hyperlink is applied to cell A13. We are going to uh, add the same using code. We have uh, entered text to cell A7 uh, and applied uh, font setting to it, applied cell color to it. Uh, we have uh, added an alignment to the cell, added text to cells from a8 to A12 and added an uh, email hyperlink to cell A13. Now we have uh, done with uh, address section, invoice detail section and bill to section. Now we are going to enter values to this product detail section and apply uh, formatting uh, added in this section. Here uh, A and B column uh, for rows 15 to, 8, 15 to 22 is merged uh, and 
incremental formula is set from cells E16 to E20 which is the multiple of quantity and uh, unit price column and finally uh, total of amount is calculated with formula sum of E16 to E22 now we are going to uh, do the same with the code I have merged uh, column A and B from rows 15 to 22 and entered uh, text from A to uh, A15 to A20 and number from C16 to D23, D20 and text in cell D23. Now we can apply uh, number format, accounting number format to unit price and amount column as in the template. Now we have applied number accounting number formatting to uh, cells D16 to E22 and uh, the same format to cell uh, E23 of uh, total field. Now we are going to add. Uh, now we are going to add incremental formula uh, from cell E16 to E22 and uh, set formula to cell uh, E23 which is the total of amount we have set incremental formula uh, from cell C16 to E20 as, C, as C16 into D16 which is the multiple of quantity and unit price um, setting incremental formula is similar to that of adding formulas to uh, required rows from particular column uh, by dragging the formula from one cell in MS Excel. Uh, Excel SIO supports several formulas. Now uh, we have entered values applied number format added formulas uh, now we are going to add formatting to these cells uh, such as uh, text and cell formatting alignment uh, and uh, border style to this product detail section we have uh, applied border styles to this product detail section and uh, the line style uh, will denote the line to be applied on the cell. Uh, color denotes the color of the border. And this index uh, denotes the edges of the cells. And applied font settings to this uh, product detail section. Applied cell color to it. Uh, and uh, added an alignment to this product detail section. Now, as you see in this reference template, uh, which have an custom row height and column width, uh, which make the template to look good. Uh, now, we are going to add those uh, custom row height and column width in code. We have added uh, column width and row height. To the used cells. Now we have uh, done with the code section. Let's run the application and see uh, the output file. Now click create document button which will download the generated excel file now open the file now we have created the file as same as that of our reference file which is in invoice format picture is added 
cell and text formatting is applied hyperlink email hyperlink is added formula is added and the value is evaluated total is evaluated so we have uh, done with this excel creation using uh, asp.net mvc application thanks for watching